What's up, guys? You just caught us in the middle of discussing <laughs> Star Trek. We'll probably have a Star Do Trek Star episode Trek at some sometime. Point. Yeah. Which Kevin is a good seg- segue to space news. <laughs> This is, Kev- this is Kevin Space News. I'm going to make a banner for this where it's yes. literally just Kevin Space News. You have graphics. Yes. And it's going to have an exclamation point and then say Space News underneath it. Hashtag okay. Space News. So, yes. So, well, you can start, man. Yeah, so about a day or two ago, um, I'm sure I'm going to get the date wrong. Let's say September 1st. That was close enough. Um, a massive filament eruption happened on the surface of the sun. So it's... Instead of a single location, it was actually this long filament along the surface of the sun um, exploded and came off of the surface. Uh, it was about three or four Jupiter diameters long. It's absolutely enormous. That's frightening. But uh, it happened at a pretty high latitude, and you can actually see the videos online at you know NASA.gov and all that of it kind of exploding northward. Uh, so it's at pretty high latitude, and it so shouldn't it affect, wouldn't affect us too us. much. Thank God we're in the plane of the solar system. Yeah, um, it would it would be passing by us today, September second, and tomorrow, September third. But no, your it, dates are totally wrong. Today is the third. Third. See, I said I get the dates wrong. <laughs> we'll fix it in post. Um, September third and September fourth. But if you're watching this, that means the world didn't end. So I will be right and say that nothing will happen. So, that's my prediction. I'm going to put money on that and say that the world also is not going to end because you'll be watching this. Or I've had time to upload it to YouTube. So, we're all good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Official stamp of approval from your local NASA representative, Kevin. Uh, now, some other kind of waiting news is that NASA has been tr- having meetings, trying to make a decision on who to fund for... Uh, what the next crew carrying ship oh, okay. should be because there's a bunch of different companies that have a bunch of different competing ships you have spacex with the dragon mark ii you have boeing with the cst 100 because they're okay. boring and they can't think of a good name you have sierra so, nevada with the dream chaser that looks like a mini shuttle they call it like a minivan for space because it can fit seven people is that it is that all it fits is just people there's yeah. no car there's it's no... specifically for people but you can rip out some of the seats and put cargo into it okay so so, so it's it is a it's literally the minivan for space yes. okay uh so those are like the three big famous ones mm-hmm. uh and Na- and nasa is supposed to supposed to fund one <laughs> however spacex has been doing so well boeing has always been bffs with them and the Dream true. Chaser has only failed with minor things like landing gear. And it's cute as hell. Yeah. So people are predicting that they'll split the money. Why be- not? Yeah. Because SpaceX can survive without the full grant. SpaceX has money. I'm pretty and so sure. does Boeing. Yeah. Per- so if anything, they should just select the Sierra Nevada because they're small and nobody's heard of them. Well, they can just give some, you know, make some contracts up with the other two right. when they need them. To send stuff so they're supposed to decide on it before the Labor Day weekend. Then the Labor Day weekend happened. Then they said they'd say right after the Labor Day weekend, we are a little bit more than a little bit after the Labor Day weekend. Now, Kevin, I think I want to, I, I might have a theory for why they didn't make the Labor Day weekend deadline. It was because of the whole nude pic leak thing by all the celebrities. <laughs> Not that I'm saying anything in particular, <laughs> but it kind of... Bogged up all the news for the weekend, so maybe they were just distracted. You know, shiny things. Oh, I'm not going to go any further than that. Uh, you can you can you can look them up. <laughs> this is your own yeah. thing. We we want we just mentioned it. That's it. We thought that about one that was our one mention. Got. That's all you're going to get. So yes, so hopefully they'll decide soon because yeah. I mean, NASA I mean, needs something. Yeah, and competition is good. So more than one of these companies should keep going for the long haul. Oh yeah. If I haven't said this yet, but at some point, if we ever do like a video game segment, competition is the best thing for most industry. I think almost every industry, and you know, it's doing well for video games. It would do very well for space exploration and whatnot, especially since we're heading yeah. further into a space age. Even though it seems like you know we're already there, but not really there at the same time. I want to go to the International Space Station. Send me SpaceX. Send me. Uh, and then no, uh, sir. I think you're getting closer, yeah. Our other piece of news, space-related news, is that on Mars, very far from home, uh, is uh, one of the... There are three rovers on Mars right now, aren't there? Operational, I know that Curiosity, the big one, yes. that landed recently, recently ago. Yes. And then Opportunity, which and Spirit, was... Spirit, right? Spirit, 
is no longer operational. It froze over during a winter. Yes, but that spirit is the sister to opportunity, opportunity, and opportunity, which has totally outlived its ex- like expected lifetime. Yeah, it's by, going like, 10 on years. ten years now. Yeah. Uh, None of it was designed to go this long. This is the great thing about a lot of the space stuff that we do, that things we design to last for like two or three years end up lasting for like 10, 15 years. Uh, we do this all, like our space telescopes last forever, it seems like. But Opportunity has had a, is having memory problems. Yeah. So they're well, trying like, to fix that. Because from here, being or, several times longer than your operational lifetime for computers, uh, it's running into some difficulties with all the data that it's processed over the years. And so they believe that they have to reformat some of the systems <laughs> on opportunity to clean out the pipes. It's kind of like they threw a laptop from 10 years ago onto Mars, right? Could you imagine trying to do anything on a laptop, laptop from, from 10, 10 years, years ago, ago today? We, this show would be in 8-bit pixels and we would probably be coming at you on a modem. Like a old school dial up modem. I know it was. All the sound effects. Yeah. I know 10 years ago. Well, 10 years ago, we were just starting to get DSL. 10 years ago was 2004. Yeah. DSL was making its way in there. Cable modems. Getting there. Yeah. But yeah, could you imagine? We were trying to send signals to Mars on a little, on a phone. We were calling Mars. That's basically what was happening back then. So thankfully, hopefully, it'll get all worked out and we can have two rovers continually being operational on Mars so that one day we can move some people there and get them off this planet because I think there are some stupid people out there that probably... Why would you want to send the dumb people to Mars? Alright, fine. All the smart people can go to Mars. <laughs> I don't know. We'll send some people there. I don't know. I'm staying here. That's my point. I want to stay here. I like this planet. Mars but, could be cool. Mars could be cool. It's a little too red for me. I'm done! I don't know why he's laughing at that. I wasn't really... It's not... It's just the thing. I like I like certain colors. I You're like, wearing red. You like red. I like red. Thank you for pointing out my shirt. Uh, I like red, but this is like I have three red shirts. I have a ton of blue and green because I love Mother Earth. So there you go, Kevin. <laughs> Sticking on the blue All planet. Right. Blue planet. Blue versus red. Blue versus red versus blue. Anyway, uh, so that's our space news segment thing. Uh, transmission ended. Right.